Good evening to all of you beautiful people. Welcome to Be Movie Bonfire, coming to you live from Facebook. Super weird. Super well, what different. Is this, what is this strange and unusual place we're in here? It, it's pretty much the same place. We just moved our mobile home to a different park. <laughs> it's still the same house. It's still the same. Yeah, no. Um, so this will be just a fun experiment for us just to see how it goes here. It looks like currently 13 folks watching with us live and a few folks in chat. So just the same as always, um, feel free to join in via chat and um, let us know what jokes we missed. <laughs> and, and in other uh, words, carry the show for us. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, whatever you can do, whatever you can do to make this more entertaining, please. Uh, please help us. Um, all of us have had, uh, regardless of the, whatever side of the political spectrum you're on, it's been a challenging week for everybody. And um, so happy to have a little bit of time away from all that where we have a movie about a president on a train and a hitman. <laughs> it also happens to be, you know, super famous. Yeah. Yeah, no, the 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 Sinatra is the the hitman. Yeah, in this one, yeah, yeah, I believe so. so. Yeah, I believe and I think I... I'm pretty sure. I don't want to spoil anything. I haven't seen this, but my guess is that he's going to do it his way. <laughs> <laughs> that that is absolutely right. Yeah, um, it'll be a very it'll be a very Sinatra experience. <laughs> Thank you for translating your real names back into your screen names so that we know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> it, having these real names is going to kind of throw us off a little bit tonight, so uh, please bear with us on that. <laughs> I know. Um, and Charles, to answer your question, the only swaggity that we have tonight, I think, is Josh's hat. Um, yeah, that's right. Which, Mine, uh, mine's which, just out of shot over here, so. Which uh, we... Yeah, we I, I do have uh, said swaggity, but I keep it... Don't. In the bad corner. Don't. Please. Yeah. Right there. Please. Bad. Instead, I have... Uh, it's literally a, very, a bad shot. <laughs> a very in-theme, uh, you know, uh, tiki cocktail to go with our 1950s movie. So. I dig it. And I've got I, some kind I of... I have vodka, vodka and Red Bull. Con yeah, vodka concoction in a blender bottle because uh, shaken, not, not stirred. <laughs> sad, sad week. Lost Trebek and lost uh, Sean Connery. I know. I keep seeing that that old SNL um, skit with uh, with uh, who is it? Will Ferrell and I don't know who the other guy is. Will that Ferrell, does the, uh, the Sean Connery impression, but it's so good. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna miss those two guys, man. They were yeah. they were legends, icons, um, absolute icons. Yeah. I'll take so, the rapists for a thousand. <laughs> that's, that's therapists. therapists. <laughs> Oh, so good. What do you bet um, when Trebek uh, got to the afterlife, uh, Sean Connery was there? Ha! Bitch, you here, Trebek! <laughs> Just like I beat your mother last... No, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh! Uh, <laughs> it's going to be I one of those streets tonight, folks. Buckle yeah. up. It is indeed. <laughs> yeah, although I don't know that my mother knows how to join us tonight, so she might not be here. I don't know. I might have to check and see if she made it. Um... <laughs> I did so. have to go up and, uh, and correct my wife as well to make sure that she went to Facebook. She's like, well, I don't see you guys live yet. Uh, oh, oh, that's why. You're on Twitch right now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, so that'll be interesting too. Yep. Yeah. We'll, just, yep. we'll see how it goes. It may yeah, work. It may soon. not work. We'll just have to see. Yeah. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> yeah. I, the audio little, is low for all of us. A little low. A little bit all low. Right. All right. Fix that. I can, I can fix that. I can fix that. Crank it. Um, so tonight, been kind. tonight suddenly, uh, nineteen fifty four movie uh, raked in like one and a half million at box office, which seems like that was pretty good for a nineteen fifty four movie. But I don't know. Um, it was so this, certainly I, a profit. It was a profit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's like I, would, I would hope so. In today's dollars, I'm yeah, probably. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm no expert on uh, inflation, but I, I think you're probably right. Um, Something like that. That's just a rough guess. <laughs> rough math, loose math. Yeah, um, I, I see some votes for going back to Twitch this week. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Well, uh, there's really we're just trying it. I, I don't yeah. know that there's any other reason other than that. Yeah. Um, Dog's losing her mind outside. I apologize now. Uh, she she caught the fun. smell of a rabbit. <laughs> I should bark at everything. 
All right. Well, should well, what we? Do you uh, say, what do you say we uh, we get this started? Get this election should, week special going. Yeah. Let's let's uh, let's crack open a cold one. And what did what did we used to say? <laughs> Don't worry. I've got you guys. <clears throat> oh, so okay, now guys. it's time to pull up a log and crack a beer. It's time for B movie bonfire. B-movie bonfire. There you go. There you, there you uh, go. Nine point five million is the equivalent in today's dollars. Oh, that's that, not. That, is that, that good? Doesn't really... It doesn't seem well, that good. It depends how I much mean, that it costs to make it. I'm going to guess about yeah. about three fifty. Yeah, <laughs> three fifty, three fifty. Damn Loch Ness monster. I heard that Loch Ness monster would want to produce this film. Uh, the internet would like to have a word with you and me for destroying that meme. Um, Again. <laughs> yes. All right. Always. All right. Well, what do you say we get this movie going, guys? Let's roll it. Yeah. And and we can't simulcast both channels if we're Twitch affiliate, by the yeah, way. Yeah, unfortunately, that's, uh, that's the only reason. That's, that's why we're not simulcasting yet. All the cop cars always breaking down. Can you tell me the way to Three Rivers? About two miles to the first main intersection, then turn left. It's about sixty miles. Thanks. What town is this? Suddenly. Suddenly what? No, no, that's the name. Suddenly, <laughs> New Jersey. That's a funny name for a town. Who's uh-huh. on first? Hangover from the old days. That's the way things used to happen here. Have a hangover Suddenly, tomorrow I too. see. Road agents, gamblers, gunfighters. Well, I take it things have changed. Uh huh. Things happen so slow now, the town council is figuring to change the name to gradually. <laughs> <laughs> Dead <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Pleasure. Come back. Asking what the name of the city is while sitting right next to a sign with the name of the city. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That was kind of silly. <laughs> Suddenly, California. Sorry. I think I heard that the Irish counterpart to this movie was Spud. I am not proud of that joke. They're like, hey, what's the name of this movie, pal? Suddenly. Oh, suddenly. Wow, what a great name for a movie. Thanks, pal. Thanks, buddy. (laughs) Not your guy, pal. (laughs) Bass Lord. Bass Lord. I coach the delicious bass. My favorite kind of head. Hi, Todd. Where's your mother? You're white and young. What's okay to me? I got to put this up in the car. Want to come? Yeah, sure. Well, I always like to come, Billy. Uh-huh. Well, no. Uh-huh. I guess That's not. Captain Todd She wouldn't let me. Who's she? Mom, of course. Well, and you better just called us soft. It's kind of not polite to say <laughs> I think he's talking like about audio levels, but... Well, anyway, she wouldn't. Probably. You know, I bet I can guess what's on your mind. Bet you can't. Well, now let's see. Your 12 year old boy, cream soda? corn. Mm, not a bad idea, but that's not it. You want to go to the movies? No, it's a war picture. Mama will let me see war pictures. Boy, oh boy, this is tougher than I thought. I, I had two guesses. I'm all you out. You want now. that baseball bat? <laughs> no, but you're awful warm. Is that it? Billy's first sure, gun. that's it. Ain't it a beauty? But shucks, it's no use. Mom wouldn't let me have it. She doesn't like guns. I know. It's because of my father being killed in the war. Look, Pidge, if you had the gun, what would you do with it? Stick up a filling station? Stick up a filling station? Heck no! <laughs> I'm gonna go yeah. commit crimes. And I catch all those road agents and cattle rustlers, just like you. But what about Mom? Well, I think we can talk her into it. What would you want her to be a peace officer and all? We got lots of time. Mom's still in the market getting groceries. We have plenty of time to go buy a gun and cause violence. Mom, this policeman wants to buy me a gun? <laughs> what? <laughs> Drop a kid! Bang, 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 bang! Oh, hello. Hey, Billy, I think I've this got is Jesse. Oh, thanks, Todd. Hello. Hi. Can I give you a lift up the house? Thanks anyway, but I have the car with me. Going to church tomorrow? Yes. I'll pick you up about a quarter to 11, huh? 
That's a date. You never give up, do you? Ellen, I know how you feel. Believe me, I do, and I've tried to understand, but... Well, I haven't asked you to understand. I also know what your son's I'm thinking. I'm in love with you. <laughs> Todd, you... You shouldn't say that to me. Well, why not? It's true. Don't, Todd. Ellen, you can't go on being a widow forever. It's been over three years since Pete died. Pretty sure Don't she'd be a understand. widow forever. No one can take Pete's place. I'm not trying He's to coming back to life. I'm trying to make a place of my own. You've been wonderful, Todd, and I have and this I'm wonderful doctor. Really He's going to bring am. him back to life. His name is. I can't help how I feel. Ellen, you've got to stop doing this to yourself because you're doing it to Pidge too, as well as to me. You're digging a big black pit and shoving all of us down into it. Leave me alone, Todd, please. We all have blue balls. <laughs> Pidge, where did you get that gun? I bought it for him, Ellen. Todd, how could you? We thought you wouldn't mind, well, Mom, because I'm going to be a sheriff, just like Todd. Gun in exchange for it. Take it off, Pidge. Ellen. I can't help it, Todd. You know I can't stand seeing him play with a gun. But the boy's got to learn sometime that guns aren't necessarily bad. Depends on who uses them. Todd carries one, doesn't he? What's he using for hair yes. gel? Well, then, just take it off, Pidge. Ah, oh, gee. New swaggity. That's three dollars, please. Wait for size, Dr. Thank Crisp. You. Only thing that puts a bad boy with a gun is a good boy with a gun. <laughs> I know you don't want the boy to see war pictures, but it seems... Teaching children the art of death and destruction, the cruelties, the tortures. He's got to know that these things exist. Then he can fight against them when it's his turn. You can't when wrap it's the boy in cellophane. To die. He can try, as long as possible. <laughs> Look, when a house is on fire, everybody has to help put it out. Because the next time, it might be your house. Todd, don't. That's great, but which way is the exit to the parking lot? It's called socialism, Helen. <laughs> Church tomorrow, Ellen? No, Todd, I can't go with you. Well, I can't go on asking you and being turned down. I mean that. It's like a threat. <laughs> well, I mean, he is a cop. <laughs> Topical. No, Brandon, this is California, where the where the police buy guns for the kids. <laughs> it's a wholesome place. Bebop, going over to Tilly's for a cup of java. You can handle Bebop? things. It's a quiet day. It's been a quiet day in this for the last 50 years. Suddenly. Oh, wow. You? Anybody here know Morse code? Anybody? Morse code? Ah, send 15 sure. bottles of What's swaggity. Get out of here. Get the sheriff. Tell him to get over here fast. It's an emergency. I just know S and O. <laughs> and S again. <laughs> That's it. Suddenly a train came. Be 25 mile speed limit. Where's the sheriff? Try the office. Hey, what's the. <laughs> Where's the He's like three <laughs> feet outside the door. <laughs> He's, <laughs> He's in the sheriff's right office. Oh, wow. I don't know. Something came over the wire. Ed wouldn't even show me. Yeah, that's funny. Well, oh, there's Todd now. <laughs> Andy, we got a problem! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> that was handling the gun. That's what that was. That's, uh, this is actually the, uh, the prequel to the Andy Griffith show. That little kid is actually, you know, Barney Fife. What's this all about? Thanks, get out of here. Well, wait a second, I want to know what it's about. It's top secret, get out of here. Well, for Pete's sake, Ed, I run my pants off. Oh. Hit like the bricks, kid. Polish my car. What the word? Listen to this, I haven't finished typing it yet. Sheriff Todd Shaw, Suddenly California, confidential code hangover. Special train number 1019 carrying the President of the United States will arrive suddenly 5 p.m. today. President will detrain and drive to White Springs Ranch, will require 
adequate transportation, appreciate cooperation, your staff with Secret Service operatives arriving 115 Connie, Acting Chief, U.S. Secret Service. Well, I thought he said he had to finish typing. It was written by James Joyce. <laughs> 5 p.m. Now, can I use your phone? So. Oh, if you don't mind. Uh, give me state police headquarters at Weatherby. What's that code word again? Hangover. Hangover. <laughs> Topical. Hello. This is Todd Shaw down to Suddenly. I want to speak to Captain Aaron. There's number 20, the 66 crossing. Hello, Cap Aarons. It's Todd Shaw. Say, look, I've got a message here. The code word is hangover. Now, I'm going to need five of your cars, two men to a car, and one Thompson gun to each car, and you... Oh, you did, huh? Swell. Right. Thanks. I got the same message. Aaron has the show on the road already. Gee, those state cops don't fool around, do they? No, they don't. Say, uh, you didn't spill it, did you? I haven't seen Super That's confidential. Let's just keep it that way. I'll run over to Kaplan's garage. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he came peeling in there. He's coming in hot. <laughs> Hello, Sheriff. I'll be right with you. That's not soon enough, Iz. So? <laughs> I want the big black Cadillac at 4.30. Asshole. Yeah, park at the station. Backed in. Somebody getting married? Like the Sheriff? Don't be funny. This is police business. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I don't get it. You're not supposed to. 4.30, yeah? No slip-ups. Or I'll find your body laying face down in the woods. Wait. Maybe we'll find it like that anyway. Wow. Train coming. <laughs> Time to casually jog in front. <laughs> it's all right. The brakes on those things are amazing. Mr. Carney? That's right. My name's Shaw. Get my message? What message? Hangover. May I see your credentials? Sorry, we're a little short -handed. This is Wilson. Hi. <laughs> Haggerty. Schultz and Kelly. Glad to make your acquaintance. Yeah, I get your message. You're a careful man, Sheriff. Not always. This seemed like a good time to me, though. We always have to be. May I see your credentials? I, uh... I'm wearing my badge. I've got a limousine order for 4.30. It'll be parked right here. That was awful here. quick. Good. State police have five cars on the road from Weatherby. You have a lovely family. Excellent. I saw their picture. I guess that's about it. Not quite. You can still be of help to us. We need a scapegoat. We're, uh, we're all going to need all coffees. Stores facing the state. <laughs> Hot. Mr. Kearney, I know every proprietor in this town. You can take my word for it. I can't take your word for anything. I'm sure they're okay. Just routine. All right, boys. We'll park a limousine between the tracks when the special arrives. Pretty rough in there. Maybe. Easier to cover. All state police cars can go in there, too. All right. Oh, uh, who lives up there in the hill? Bob Benson. Oh, that's his just Jack and his sniper. <laughs> we'll check it. <laughs> uh, Mr. Carney, if there's one place in this town doesn't need checking, it's that one. Pop Benson used to be in the Secret Service himself before a bad ticket retired him. Pop Benson? You don't mean Peter Benson. That's right. What? Yeah, Peter Pop Benson. I'll be a monkey's uncle. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I have oh, a nephew. Benson used to be my old boss. <laughs> oh, how do you like that, eh? Therefore, Mr. Shaw, he'll be the last one in the world to object. <laughs> Pete Benson, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Not the Pete Benson. The one and only. Probably you mean a Pop rectifier. Benson? Probably uh, two. Would you please call Judd and have him come up and fix that thing before you wreck it? Wreck it? Wreck it? Look, I'll have you... I've got a wreck it! I built a television... <laughs> Look at the wreck it! ...before you even knew what television was. Call someone up here work? before you wreck I don't yourself. Know. I never did get to finish the receiver. Well, this is a receiver, and I do wish you'd call okay. Judd. Well, I don't want to bother Judd. Besides, it's time and a half on Saturday. Well, that'd be cheaper than what it'll cost when you get through diddling with it. Oh, now, Alan, stop well, taking it out of me. He's 17 cents just an hour. And Todd had a fight. I'll diddle for free. You haven't touched your cake. As Don't he want leaves. It. <laughs> hey, darling, I made it kid. especially for you. You made it because you wouldn't let me wear my gun. Drink your milk, darling. Sissy. What? That's what the guys call me. Well, because I, I can't wear a gun. Oh, you, I'm your mother, and I think I know what's best for you. 
Pidge. I'm gonna go read this Calvin and Hobbes comic. Also, in here. naming the kid Pidge probably doesn't help. To you? Yeah. Yeah, that set him back a few years for sure. The boy's just disappointed. That's all, Alan. Dad, please stop interfering. First, you cancel him out on the hike with the Cub Scouts, and the next thing. Pitch, go to your room. I'll have this old set pregnant in a minute, son. You and me watch the ball game. Dad, I had Pidge. this for the last time. <laughs> Helen, you're a grown-up girl. You got a problem you haven't worked out. That's no reason why Pitch should have your problem. I've God only done damn. what I thought was right, Dad. That's bold of him to I assume. read about an experiment once. Helen, Pitch is becoming away from a woman. Kid. Raised him pure and scientifically. First time he got in off church. the rough, he caught cold and died of pneumonia. What does that have to do with Pidge? The kid hadn't been exposed. He had no immunity. There's cruelty and hatred and tyranny in the world. You can't make believe they aren't there. Helen's an anti Pidge has got to learn what is the law and what isn't the law so he can defend it. Her middle name's Karen. So he can become a soldier and go out and be murdered like his father was? No, in well, no. Well, my son was killed in the performance of his duty, Ellen. Duty? Being blown to bits on some godforsaken battlefield thousands of miles from where he was born. You call that duty? Yes, Ellen. Well, is that what you'd like for Pidge? Would that make you happy? If Pete could hear you now, I think he'd be ashamed of you. I'm Didn't ashamed you of you mourning my death. Like when the old boys wrote those words, life, liberty, out. and the pursuit of happiness, they sounded mighty nice. But they wouldn't have been worth a plugged nickel if somebody hadn't made them stick. You need, to, you need to expose kids to Grandpa, guns so they develop Grandpa, immunity Grandpa, to them. Grandpa, the window! Look out the window! Golly! What is it? Golly! Come down the mountain from Weatherby. A whole raft of state troopers. See him? <laughs> you guys. Just read that. Just read that. But it's fine. You couldn't possibly be surprised with all those sirens blasting. There's no, old gray eyes. State troopers. <laughs> hey, I see what you did there. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> the best. All right, boy, follow me. Okay. Well, there are two routes to the White Springs Ranch. You can go over the mountains here, or you can drop the down on the main highway, highway, go on into Three Rivers, and the ranch is about 20 miles farther out. <laughs> with a second Push mate. <laughs> Too much chance of an ambush in those mountains. Yes, Haggerty? We can use a roof watch in those stores, Chief, beside the street check. Look, Mr. Carney, every proprietor in this town has been here at least five years. I know them, I know their kids. Oh, isn't that, Sheriff? Because they have kids the within five years. The strangers might use one of those stores for cover. I know all their kids. I'd like them to lock up Very the well. Look like me. Stay I know what they're thinking. After five. Oh, and uh, put them out and on the And they like too. ice cream and fruit right, candy, Bert, give them the word. They all want guns. No one, including the proprietors. <laughs> Lots of remain in those stores at locking time. Anyone seen inside after 10 minutes of five might be shot on sight. Like the man says, it's important. Yes, sir. Did I mention they're all white? Tell Wilson to keep the station clear. Schultz will take over troopers and block off traffic approaches from 4.30 on. That's right. Now, there's another hazard, sir. A house up in the hill. Yeah, I know. I'll it's the hill haunts it. Yes, sir. There's a house on it. So it's the house on Hunter Hill? Do we bring well, I think it's just house on the hill. Did some galoot right make a uranium strike? Not exactly. Now look, Slim, you take over here and I'll catch up with you later. From 4.30 we'll on, talk I talk about all the and all sorts kept of off stuff. Main Street between <laughs> Oak and Alder. The state boys will help you. If anybody in town squawks, why you smooth things over. They know you and this is all going to seem a little strange to them. I don't know, I'm Andy! Myself. Never have seen so many cops. What goes on? I'll uh, take any Mr. Carney, from those special guys. agent in the Treasury Department. Secret Service. Mr. Carney, Slim Apparently Adams, people really hate deputies. this president. How do you do? That has Secret never happened service. in history. I get it. They're shipping the national debt through here in gold bars. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. You'll find out later. All right, come on. Let's go and check that car you hired. <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? <laughs> I shot business. all the cops. Gun away for your mom sees it. You tan your hide. Take that, President. Oh, Dad, I do wish you'd call God. Judd and let him come up and fix that. Shucks, Alan. I knew Ohm's law before they even passed it. Well, I don't want Pitch to miss the ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how science works. <laughs> all right, boys, Electricity jokes. I like it. 
Well, I'll hold this screw down. We'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure Here, you know let me short across this capacitor and see what happens. It says on the back of that that they're 5,000 volts, and that's dangerous. Ellen, will you please stop being a woman? Oh, oh God. God. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Dad, Dad, it's the amps that kills well, you, not the voltage. Right. <laughs> scared the pants off me, that's all. Golly, look at that's this. That's Ohm's law, actually. Guess maybe you better call Judd, huh? Honestly. That was close <laughs> You almost died. How much is 5,000 volts? Enough. To kill you? Well, it'll probably pick you up and toss you across the room. That is, unless you were standing in a puddle of water, and then you'd be grounded. And if you were grounded, it'd kill you dead or in a door nail. Well, it hurts. Also, shut up, Pidge. Like blazes. <laughs> Stop asking questions, business. kid. Stay away from those wall plugs. Don't monkey with electricity unless you know what you're doing. Why did you There's grandpa? a message in this movie. You got me there, boy. I'll get it. Aw, oh, Pidge. Judd says he'll be up in a little while. <laughs> I'm sorry. Honestly. <laughs> yes? Mrs. Benson? That's right. Is your husband at home? My husband? No, I'm a widow. What I should have asked was, are you the owner of this house? Well, no, I'm not. It belongs to my father-in-law. What is it you want? I'm John oh, Barron, special agent. Hard. Federal Bureau of Investigation. These are my Here's my, my business card. Do you suppose I could have a few words with Mr. Benson? Well... Just a moment, won't you come in? Dad! I thought it was your father. Oh, some tiny FBI again. agents. John Barron, special agent. For heaven's sake, Hello. FBI. May we come in? Why, Hello. sure, sure. Come right in. Come right in. Make yourself at home. Thanks. Not at all. I get quite a kick out of this. Used to be with the Treasury Department myself. Really? Back in the old days. Collected internal revenue, eh? Tax collector? Not on your life. Secret Service. You don't say. Grandpa was President Coolidge's bodyguard. You don't say. Yep, back in 1928. Youngest retirement in the service. Kind of a heart. Not heart, trouble, you understand. An accident on one of Cal's fishing trips. A hunter. Got the slug right here. Say, that's a nasty one. How come you're still alive? Right below my I don't know. Nipple. Lodged in my heart. I took it out. <laughs> had to take it easy, so they retired me. You're lucky. Luckier still if it hadn't hit me. I'm going to be in the Secret Service someday. Thought you was going to be a sheriff like Todd. Squirts like you are supposed to grow up and be president. Name's Pidge, Mr. Barron. Glad to meet you, Pidge. I ain't a squirt. Mr. Barron. He was. What did you want to see us about? Is something wrong? Nothing wrong yet, Mrs. Benson, but there might be. We're just checking. On us? On the house. Do you mind if we have a look around? Help yourself. Oh, it's but funny what I want to know. We're going to have a look around with or without your permission, Mr. Benson. It's an emergency. Check it. I don't think that's how that works. Boys, toss the place. <laughs> <laughs> There must be something the matter. Anyone else live here besides you three? No. Anyone been by here today? No. Just the usual routine. Willie Harris left the milk. What's this all about, Mr. Byron? Just being careful. Well, we saw Frank Sinatra later. skulking around in the bushes outside. <laughs> <laughs> Two bedrooms, one bathroom. All clear. One here. Just like they said. Kitchen, back pantry, back door. Stairs go down the hill, the garage, and the kitchen. Cellar door and hall. Clear. Car in the garage. Look at this for a setup. That seems a lot closer than the other camera angle made it believe. Objects sorry, in town folks, square are closer than, than they may appear. For a while. <laughs> Why? What's the matter? No be alarmed. There's nothing wrong. Well, of course there's something wrong. The FBI doesn't pay us a visit for the heck of it. Well, I won't stay. I'll take pictures. No, ma'am. Nobody leaves the house until we do. Why not? What's happened? Look, just go about your business like it was any other Saturday afternoon, read your papers, look at your TV, anything you want. But nobody leaves the house. Start spreading. Something fishy about all this. It's official business. I'm leaving what sort of official Mr. business? Mr. Benson, as a former agent of the Secret Service, you should understand. Either I'm getting old and stupid or else I'm... At 5 p.m. this afternoon, <laughs> the President of the United States arrives in town on a special. What? Golly! The President? Well, that's different. You mean to say the president's going to get off the train here? That's right. Golly, Gramps, you got to go down and see it. We just got it. The president? Why, that's the greatest thing ever happened to this town. Can we go down and see it, Gramps? Can we? Sorry, kid. No. Benny, bring in the gear. Put the car out back. Bart, you see the back door is locked tight. And check the cellar to be sure. I still don't understand, Mr. Benson. It should be obvious to you that if anybody wanted to kill the president, he could do a beautiful job of it. 
right from this window of yours. With the love of Mike, that may be true, but you don't think that Ellie and me... Of course not. But we have to remain here to protect you and the president from somebody else who might. Oh. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Where do you think he's going to hide? Heads and hedges? But remember, point at people with your gun and tell them what to do. Carney. Yeah? Uh, is this all routine? It seems to me to be kind of overboard. I mean, all this checking and everything, as though you expected this town to... Sheriff. Have you noticed any strangers in town during the past week? No. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I know everybody in this burg. The only strangers we get are tourists. You know, we get them all the time. Stopping for gas, a bite to eat, that's all. We want to know from well, you to you this week. the minute any stranger doesn't keep going through. Then this isn't routine. No, it isn't. Can you tell me? The Los Angeles police picked up a small-time stool pigeon night before last. Shot through the lungs and left for dead. Smiley Bitters. Before he died, he told them something Smiley was up. Smiley Bitters? What do you mean something he was up? He goes well with whiskey. An assassination attempt. Well, can you believe that? In our business, we can't afford not to. I mean the tip of a dying stool pigeon. The stoolie seemed very proud of being an American before he kicked off. Yeah, Meaning crime is crime, but American. this is something else again. Right. So we can't take any chances. Let's go. <laughs> Notice that the waistline of our Who pants has fallen Grandpa? substantially in the last couple years. Can we, Mom? <laughs> no, Pidge, we have to stay here. This you can is when the look started getting relaxed. But I want to get up close. Well, use your telescope, boy. Bring him right up the eye. Uh, now, is he a stool, Pidge? Sorry, Pidge. No dice. Uh, Back door locked. Uh, How about the phone in the kitchen? You want me to yank it? No, we don't change the pattern at all. Give Benny a hand. That's all. That's an island. Mr. Barron, uh, something I don't understand. I was in the service myself, so you told me. And though we made every precautionary check, we never went to extremes like this unless... Uh, unless you were tipped that there was to be an attempted assassination. Well, you don't mean it. I mean it. But you're FBI. Secret Service is responsible for the safety of the president. We're using everybody this trip, Mr. Benson. Have a look down there. State troopers, your local law enforcement agencies, and us. You don't know if old Dan Carney is down there, do you? He and I worked together in the old days. He's chief of the presidential staff now. That's confidential information. This is a terrible thing. That's your worry, Mr. Benson? Well, of course it's my worry. I'm an American, ain't I? It's everybody's worry. All right. Somebody's driving up to the house. Who is it? It's Todd. He's the sheriff, Mr. Barron. There's someone sheriff with him. Todd. Who's with him? <laughs> well, I don't know. I've never seen him before. Well, for the love of mine. What? Well, it isn't old Dan Carney, gray as an old shirt and red in the face as ever. <laughs> He's been drinking, that's why. <laughs> Hi, Pop. Got an old friend of yours here. Dan, you dirty old Irishman. Dan Carney. Oh, Pop, how are you? Dirty old Irishman. Oh, does it like me live racism. Hey, old Hawkeye, you're getting bald. Well, just what do you expect after 25 years? <laughs> Come on in. Sure. Come on you're in. one Step to talk, home. you bald mother. This is my daughter-in-law. How do you do? This is my grandson. How big's your prostate, Todd? Hey, this is Mr. Carney, Secret Service. He Let's give her a check. Like Mr. Barron? <laughs> Who? Barron. Oh, you didn't know. Your boys got here ahead of it. Shut up! <laughs> One sound from the kid, Pop, and he's dead. Wow. Does Pidge still have his gun? The train muffled it. Get rid of him. Put him in a cell. That train didn't come to like to give a away. minute later. You get the message, brave boy. Mom! This is what happens Mom. when you don't stand up for your third amendment. Pidge, now you gotta be still. No noise. You stink! Pidge, shut up! Oh, man, cut guts. him deep. He's only eight. Lots of guts. Mom. 
No trouble with you. You're all busted up. Yeah, just hope he's not left-handed. All right. Huh. Take care of her. You got it now. Let's be practical. I don't want any more shooting around here. I want it nice and quiet and cozy. I'll get her up and bring her around and explain to her that one phony and she's got a kid with his throat cut. She yeah, doesn't see? make much noise that way. The same goes for you, too. Anybody steps out of line, the boy. That's simple enough. So they did do it Sinatra's way. Ellen, listen to me. Ellen, pay attention. Now listen to me and don't look like that. Everybody is all right. You've got to get a hold don't of Don't look like yourself. No matter what happens, you've got to hang on. If you scream or make one false move, you'll murder the boy. You understand? You'll murder Pidge. Yeah, I kill pigeons, see? Did you hear him, lady? Good. Now we're all in the court. All right, all right, inside. We'll get a long time to wait. Or at least a Relax. second. Move the kitchen table in front of the window. All right, sit down, sit down. Look at your TV. They ain't working. Well, work him over then. Fix him up. Don't sit there waiting to blow your car. Keep yourselves occupied. I gotta think. Yeah, let me think. What would Sammy Davis Jr. do right now? <laughs> Hookers and blow? A lot God, of them. How do you badly blow. hurt? Bullet hit the bone, broke it, I guess. He's bled a lot. We need a doctor. Look yeah, at his you... face. Tell her, uh, Pop. Doctor can't fix that, baby. You're the doctor, Ellen. We can't have no doctor. We can't set a broken arm. Tough. Can you? Uh, we can't set Me? a broken arm. It's great in his fracture. You couldn't take it. He can take He's it. He's great, man. Hold on, brave boy. That was unfortunate. Tie it up. Somebody smell poop? <laughs> no, he didn't Can die. Can we take him into the bedroom? Sure. Whoa. Look at the boy's face. Blood is really turning <laughs> me off. <laughs> They were still working on, uh, you know, and leave the door open. Not you, kid. So. You don't get to watch. All right, let's go to work. You hold the kid, I punch him. Repeatedly. Oh, they're going to play xylophone. Here you go, kid. You like marimba? Play Freebird! We got to do something. Well, I know, I know, but what? What? They got Pidge. No, none of us count. Not even Pidge. We haven't got a chance. As long as we're alive, we got a chance. We got to find a flaw in his plan. We'll think of something. Pop, haven't you got a gun? Gun? Oh, Pidge has got a gun. Yeah, Let's get right that. The door. My gun. Oh, yeah, the gun I completely forgot that I owned. That's how you know he's an American. Is it loaded? This is what I call my panty gun. I hid the cartridge in the counter page. You're a dirty, lousy gangster. Leave him alone, Benny. Did you hear what he said? Yeah, I heard what he said. Oh, it's too much television. He ain't a bad square. I want to put out a cigarette on his forehead so bad, boss. I want to stop cutting. Steel top, chrome legs. I think it would. No difference. Use the bracket, screw him to the leg and then to the floor. That way the table won't dance. You're a coward. You're a bunch of cowards. And you're getting too fresh. So button it. <laughs> so fresh and so clean, clean. Johnny, why all this trouble? Big deal. This is a lot of work. Do it, Benny. But Johnny, I don't see I why said, we... Just do it, Benny. Why you Once you get the gun Benny? anchored, you got a solid base. You'll see when we get to it. This gun's got a heavy recoil. Do it just like still. Oswald taught me. We got just three seconds to nail the president. And I don't want the table to shimmy when we get to it. A uh, Tommy gun would do just as good. The Tommy gun stinks. No accuracy, no punch. Might as well use a revolver. This is the gun. When I was in the army. So I wasn't in the army. 
There are many like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> this one's for pleasure. This is for fun. This is quite a gun, Benny. Quite a gun. I did a lot of chopping in the war with a baby like this. A lot of chopping. Chopping? You don't you usually use an axe? You're wrong about me, Pete. Being a coward. Last war, I got a silver star. You couldn't get a gold star North because casino, that wasn't quite good. Pocket of resistance. I killed 27 men all by myself. With a pencil. I want a silver star, metal. With a pencil! I stole it. <laughs> it was a pen. It's mightier than a sword. Ooh! <laughs> They're hurting Pidge. All right, take it easy, take it easy. Oh, He's Mr. a kid, he can take, take it. it. Easy. Johnny, relax. So, for the love of Mike, what's a silver star? Uh -huh. I want it. Kids pop in a tent. <laughs> Smack hey, me again. Frankie. Okay, you want it. DJ Jazzy Jeff and the pressure. I got him. They've been there a long time. Yeah, get him back in here. And then put him over there. What are you all trying to pull? <clears throat> all of you inside. Come on, come Pretty on. Pretty smooth, Grandpa. None smoother than retired FBI agent Feeling Grandpa. Better? Yeah. You're lucky. He didn't mean to wing you. He meant to blow your brains out. He's a bad shot. Yeah, but I'm not. So maybe you better sit down and stay there. That way it'll be safer for everybody. You got that duty look in your eye. Four, nine? I've seen it up on the line. The line? You Four, eight, line? thank you. Some other time. Down. His watch a lot. Watch, you fool! What? His what? car's out front. Put it in the garage, quick. I have to think of everything. Oh, great. Just great. Might as well advertise. There's a close one. Yeah, because there's nothing suspicious about a cop car being <laughs> out inside somebody's house. Hot in here. Oh, the cop needs the keys to the engine. Yep. <laughs> See what time it is? Man, he's really taking that thing for All a All right, spin. suppose you tell me what happens in this house on a Saturday afternoon between 4 and 5. Pattern. Smart guy. Sure, and we don't break that pattern. We're here for a reason, and if we break it, we might blow the deal, you know? Mario slings the paper over the fence around 4.30 or so. Delivery boy. Yelling, Yahoo! Does he come in? Anyone else? It's a Sorry, news! I went up the mountain from <laughs> Jackrabbits. He'll be buying his way back. Will he stop? Not unless he's got something to brag about. He comes up from the plumbing. Or Anybody else? Hammer time. Nobody. Anybody know that you and the other guy were coming up here? That's an interesting question. What's the interesting answer? You guess. Tell yes. him, Todd. Sheriff, if you think I have any qualms about killing this kid, you couldn't be more wrong. I killed children. The thing for about breakfast. killing him or you or her or him. I killed 27 that kids that weren't named Pitch before I came over here. <laughs> they were named Doug and, and I don't Greg. like giving anything away for it free. It's interestingly specific. Neither do I. Including information. Your guts are showing all over the place, brave boy. Allow me to help you do that a little bit. Not me. I'm scared. You see, the way I figure it, Baron, I'm a dead man anyway. So is the boy, so is Ellen, so is Pop. It's just a question an hour later. And if it gives the president a bit of an edge, why, then we get it now. They won't hurt us. They won't hurt Pidge. He said so. Because it's convenient, Ellen. You think these crumbs would kill the president and then take off, <laughs> leaving us behind to identify them? You said crumbs you wouldn't hurt Pidge. Sure, sure, Perks. and I meant it. Oh, uh, he won't Don't listen to this thing. guy. Just... He's just being brave for your kid's life. I know guys like that in the army. We're just doing a job, that's all. Identifying us is not it's involved. like the army. With one less letter. By 7 o'clock tonight, we'll be, be out of the country and you'll never see us again. Tell him, Todd, tell him. Never mind, lady. It's hard we'll to wear just assume under, that they knew he was coming up here. When the belt so that if somebody right. else comes up to check on him, you can tell him <laughs> the sheriff and his friend were here, but they had to go someplace else. That's all. I have to go to the bathroom. I got a brown snake touching cotton. Go with him, Bart. Popcorn? I don't need any help. Come on, Make sure come you on. shake his dingling when he's done. Okay, don't want to be splash. Table screwed down. All right, get the tripod up there, drill a hole in each leg, bolt the tripod to the table, put it center in front of the window. 
I thought I told you to sit down. Just stretching my legs. You're a very careful man. That's right. Planned on everything, huh? Sheriff, the first man they shoot to the moon in a rocket will take pains, too. Of course, that's never he been done tiny. before. Neither he has this. He does look right. tiny. Doesn't that worry you? I haven't got time to worry. This was 13 I just make my plans and carry them out. That's what John Wilkes Booth thought, too. Booth? Ha! <laughs> I'm no actor. That Busted hat. my leg on a stage so <laughs> I can yell down with the tyrants. If Booth wasn't such a ham, he might have made it. He got pretty uh, far that, Excuse me, though. it was six Cyrano The guy who killed Garfield didn't make it either. Like that. Him? Uh, he didn't plan anything. Just took a lucky shot, strictly left-handed, just like McKinley. And the Zangara got the chair for his try at Roosevelt. He had to try it in a crowd. I hate crowds. Except for this crowd so that's going to be around the it. president now. Up till here. I'm just a guy making a living. And I think you've stretched long enough, as you were. Tough guy, eh? Bart, take over Benny's work. Did you make a tinkle? Benny. Yeah, Johnny. Okay. Good Surprisingly, now we have some really warm lemonade for everybody. Leave the car here. Why me? Because Wheeler can fly a plane, and you can't. Well, but me, I'm expendable, huh? No, I just don't want anything to happen to Wheeler. Well, why can't I take the car? Because if they nail you, Benny, we need the car to get to the plane. Johnny, that place is crawling. You're getting paid, ain't you? Yeah. You can't say you ain't getting enough. I'll be back. Johnny. Look, nice and steady, just right. like you wanted it. Ah, yeah, see? I'd like to smoke a cigarette or two before oh, I, I go could. for a jog. Trap. Big, beautiful booby trap. You can't do this. You can't do it. Oh, yes, I can. You're wrong, lady. I expect a little Sinatra backhand. Here it comes. Take a look. What? It seems like he was using the forehand in this one. Take a look. That was Frankie gonna have to show you the ways. Is it weird that I want them to get Hitch to pull the trigger? Yes. <laughs> now when you, we tell you, you squeeze that trigger. But you're an American citizen. Sure. And one minute after five, I'm gonna be a very rich American citizen. You'll never get away with it. Shut up. And in five minutes, I'll be dead. I got a stomach ache. Take a pill. Maybe the old man's right, Johnny. It's a terrible thing, a terrible thing. Turn it off, will you? Just another man, a man. Yeah, but the president. You didn't tell me it was the president, Frankie. Yeah. Yeah, I never killed a president before. <laughs> beep, beep. The Roadrunner's here. <laughs> <laughs> Blink, Ellen sent for him to come and fix it so the boy could watch the ball game. What'd you tell me? Well, we Evil simply forgot, guy. that's all. He's a harmless boy, Baron. Don't hurt him. Okay, but if you cross me up... He won't, he won't. All right, Pop. You got the ball. Teach him about Ohm's Law. Let him in, but watch it. Ellen? We gotta keep this man talking. Why? Why, because that's his weakness. Sooner or later, he'll drop his guard. Find a way to it get doesn't sound familiar gun. at all. Hi, Pop. What's new? Hello, Judd. Think I'd better get up and fix your rig before you electrocuted yourself. Come on in. Todd, what happened to you? Ask him. Same thing will happen to you unless you do exactly as you're told. You're kidding. Is that real? It's real, all right. What's your name? Judd Kelly. What are you doing here? I came to fix the television set. Stop. All right, Bart Casey. I don't have any dough, if that's what you want. What is this, a, a stick-up? Yeah, that's right. It's a stick-up. You'll never get away with it. Go over and sit down, Buster. The Maybe sheriff already caught you. You too. Sit down. I don't dig it. Did they rob the bank? What's the gun for? What's going on? Where's We're your store? Deer, yes, okay. Who runs it? Just me. All alone? Do you have to point that gun at me? Alone? Answer him. Yeah. You locked up when you left? Nobody knows you were coming here. That's right. Just a service call. That gun makes me nervous, mister. 
I'm not going to be a hero. You can put the gun away. Sure. Well, but I'm telling you, Buster, like the others. <laughs> well, go One pass and the kid gets it. Shazam, Shazam, Shazam. That's right. He gets it. So you see, his life depends on you. Got it? Sure. Wilson? Tony back yet? No. He's certainly been gone a long time. See those armbands? That means he's a sergeant. Almost 420. Plays it, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we ought to load the gun now to be sure, huh? No. Nah, That's just what the sheriff would like. I like to load it at the last second. Forget about me. I've had it. Don't con me, Sheriff. The minute this gun was loaded, one of you brave boys might decide to go for the ride just to fire it. And if you fired it, that might alert a few state cops down there, and the game would be over, wouldn't it? You got any food in the house? Of course I have. No, but I'm loaded. I'm gonna grab a bite, Bart. Watch him. Bring me a little glass of milk, <laughs> will you, Johnny? My else is murdering me. Did he say he wants to read some right, Bart? Bart? Watch him. <laughs> Maybe some cookies? I don't dig it. Watch him. With your well, gun, Somebody tell me Bart. down. Be quiet. Poor man's Tom Hanks. What's he look like? <laughs> he, you just checked the clock less than five minutes ago, bro. 418. Getting the snack ready now. Haven't you any feelings at all? No, I haven't, lady. Got some right now. They were taken out of me by experts. <laughs> feelings are trapped. It's getting dark outside. Show Turn me a guy with feelings and I'll show you a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Weakness makes you think of something beside yourself. If I had any feelings left in me at all, it'd be for me. If I had Just any me. feelings left, you think I'd be wearing Don't a fedora and pleated pants father. together? Think of them? <laughs> the only feeling I get I is from these pleated pants. Nothing like a bread sandwich. My mother wasn't married. <laughs> My old man was a dipso. They left me in a home. My old a man home. was a diphthong? He sounded like schwab. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny! Pitch, come back here! Remember that sandwich? He Pitch, eated that sandwich away. across the room Pitch. there. Get him. Stick him up or I'll blast you. Nice going, Bart. It's only a cap pistol. I gave it to him myself. Darn you, Don John, darn you! Darn you! You ought to beat his brains out the little... What's so funny? You should have seen your face. A cap pistol. Go ahead, laugh yourself sick. That's a pretty good model, though, isn't it? They make him real today, don't they? Hey, Oz, Pitch, blow his brains out. A couple of big, oh bold, God, bad men so getting scared to death by a six-bit cap pistol. Fire! <laughs> beat that shit. Roll credits. <laughs> like, I gave him the wrong gun. <laughs> well, you know, Grandpa doesn't remember what he gave him. He's pretty bad. Where's Penny? Why don't we hear from Penny? Sit. If this isn't a stick-up, what is it? Did you it's come up here to fix pack, a television okay? set, Junior? Yeah. Well, then fix a television set. Todd, what's going on? They're planning to assassinate the president, Judd. Which president? The president of the United States. He arrives here this afternoon. You're kidding. The, the president of the cable company? I... No. What? <laughs> no, you're not kidding. The president? President of the local VFW. Kill the president? <laughs> they can't. They Charge them too much like for those that. drinks at the VFW. They're stinking traitors. They're Benedict Arnolds. Are you guys crazy? You can't do a thing like that. Sit down, reckless. Don't you realize what that means? That's assassination. I mean, He's the vice president too. will become president. Take a deal with you, boy. We can't. And have you, you said that? Seen that guy? That's even, Stephen. Okay with you? Thought not. Anybody else want to take the heat off the president? How about you, sheriff? It's a bad joke, Baron. Anybody else want to volunteer? For commies. They're enemy agents. <laughs> this movie right, brought to you by milk. It, Baron? Mm, I have the slightest sandwich. idea. Oh, it's cake. What's in it for you? Brought to you by cake. You're curious, aren't you, Sheriff? Want to last? I like you, Sheriff. You got guts. You must have been a good soldier. I got by. I want a silver star. That's pretty good. Killed 27 Jerry's all by myself. You're a born killer, that's all. Yeah. 
Some guys so this like would have been Eisenhower? Hard to match up, isn't it, Baron? Ish. Just when you get real good at something, you're a murderer. Huh. Yeah, over there you can knock over a whole platoon. Or a guy invents a bomb and kills 100,000 people just like that. And maybe gets more medals. Here, you put a slug in a double-crossing squirt that isn't even worth burying, and you have to take the gas. Baron, why do you hate the president so? I got no feeling against the president. As long as he's white. I'm just earning a living. <laughs> like reason. Ace those craps. Don't give me that politics jazz. It's not my racket. I don't even know who's paying me, and I don't want to know. What's the difference? Didn't it occur to you why they want you to do it? It's not my racket. Did. But that makes sense. That jazz isn't my racket. I was getting it made. Oh, Listen, nice. Sheriff, so Nixon, so Nixon would become uh, president. Why, before the war, I drifted and drifted and ran. Always lost in a great big crowd. I hated that crowd. <laughs> I have no idea. What I used to dream the about the crowd says. once in a while. <laughs> I used to see all those faces scratching and shoving. This and is the fighting. one that Doc Brown fucked up. And then the mist would clear, and somehow all those president? faces would be me. <laughs> all Tannen me for Prez. And all nothing. But the war changed everything, eh, Baron? I'm no traitor, Sheriff. I want a silver star. I stare at the camera. learned how to kill. Yeah. Maybe I did. Maybe that changed everything. I got good Maybe at it. Maybe people began to know who I was. After the show, I hooked up with an outfit for good dough. The fingers said where and how much, and Johnny Barron did the job. The fingers. You think said anybody what? else could handle this job? You think Benny or Wheeler could do it without You're talking me? Talking too much, Johnny. There's you think Benny White could do this? Could do this? Because they got too much feeling. <laughs> and feeling's no good. I got nothing I felt against the president, once. Sheriff. It was the music. He's just worth a half a million bucks to me, tax free. Making my own laws about the taxes too, Pop. The guy is goofy. Shut up, Judge. <laughs> Listen to him, Buster. And don't ever say that again. Ever. No one says I'm goofy. Not Sammy Davis. You no one. Him, they call me goofy. Pluto You're in these goofy. parts. Uh, Jeez, dollars, mister? Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez, Goofy. That's a lot of scratch, Sheriff. Man could retire on that. A lot of scratch, a lot of How do you know ever be paid? Half of it's Paper. Been paid. And the rest? I'll get it. I wouldn't be sure. It's not just a man. It's the president. That's what's so funny. He's above the law, apparently. The laugh is on the guys who are paying the freight. All this loot, and they don't even know what they're doing. A half a million clams for absolutely nothing. Because tonight at 5 o'clock, I kill the president. One second after 5, there's a new president. What changes? Nothing. What are they paying for? Nothing. Otherwise, I wouldn't have taken a job, Sheriff. You'd have taken it. You think so? Yeah. Why? Suddenly. Shoot it. <laughs> All right. Make the it. kid answer it. Come on, lady. God, the phone Steve told you told and everything will be fine. Sirens. Answer straight, clean, and plain. Answer it. Domino's Pizza. Hello. Miss Benson, let me speak to the chief. Benny. Yeah. Train's on time. The car will be waiting in front of the station like you figured, facing you. All right, get back as soon as you can and don't be followed. Check. Good job. You answered that phone pretty good, lady. How would you like to be a secretary? I'm going to follow that guy. He's lighting his cigarettes suspiciously. You could use some accessories. Cars came in two colors, black and black There's and a white. big boy's car now. <laughs> Three colors, black, Lovely car. white, black and white. Hey, hold it, mister. Yes, officer. What is it? What's your name? Fred. Fred Whitaker. What are you doing in town? Just passing through. Where's your car? I don't have one. I hitchhiked in from Three Rivers, waiting for the train out. Figured I'd take the train on to L.A. What train? The five o'clock. The five o'clock. Now that's right strange. Why, officer? Because we don't have any five o'clock train that stops here, mister, except today. And that happens to be a special that you don't know about, except that you do. <laughs> you do, but you don't. But you do. Must be some mistake. You made it. 
Oh, now look, officer, I, I got identification. I can prove who I am. I got my driver's license right here. Ow, my balls! <laughs> Come on. Did you guys hear them pop? They just popped. <laughs> Ow! My side! Gunfire. Damn it! Six shots! No, no, don't get the calf. No. Next. Top's got one of them 12 shooters. <laughs> and that's where he died. <laughs> it's chocolate sauce! To kill him. Not to kill him. After he... He was our only link. Come on. Don't Just leave the body. <laughs> so long, Benny. You think they got him? I only hope he's dead. Haggerty. Yes, sir. We got we Benny. Got what about the Jets? Dead, unfortunately. Uh. Wasn't Carney's last checkpoint no. the house on the hill? Oh! No. Right, the Sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. Too. We haven't able to reach them. We'll take two troopers and backtrack it. Like there's Start been a house surprising the lack of We've got uh, to find Carney. Right. <laughs> oh, we got to find Carney? Oh, it's up on the them. north side. No, no look for people with small hands. They smell like cabbage. Nothing, I hope. Move. Snake eyes <laughs> is like totally my jam. Dude, do you have any ibuprofen? My arm hurts like hell. Hey, stay up there. You don't want to see this. Now look, Plus, it's really starting to stink. I want you to look relaxed. If you don't pull this off, everybody is dead. Do you understand? All of us dead. So be yourself. I don't know what you mean. They'll come up here to check whether Connie and the sheriff were here, and I want you to go out front. You I don't fair, run them in the house. Her before, I can't. So I don't know she's what being to being herself say. or not. Just go out and water the flowers. Do anything you like, but keep busy. Is Lipstick that a metaphor? Roots, quick, water the flowers. Make a cake. Now listen to me carefully. Make a cake out front. to check whether Connie and the sheriff were here. Certainly they were here. They came up to check the house, but at three o'clock they left here. They went out on the White Springs Ranch Road. They took Pop and the kid with them. And that's the last you saw of them. You got it? You got it? Yes, yes. <laughs> you look like a ghost. Step on. Well, I'm sorry. I don't get much sun. Right, right Everybody is dead. Everybody. I always do my gardening with the door problem. open. What do you mean? He didn't expect Benny to get shot. Got nothing in mind? Maybe. Now listen. Shut up, you guys. Mrs. Benson? Yes. My name's Haggerty. Yes. Then you must be one of Mr. Carney's men. Did you just say your name here? was Swaggerty? I haven't seen them since they left. They, they called they me Swaggerty. About three o'clock to check the house. They <laughs> I leave a bad taste in your mouth and a splitting headache. Name. Why, Mr. Carney and Sheriff Shaw, then they said they had to check the White Springs Ranch Road. Is your father-in-law, Mr. Benson, here? Well, no. No, he isn't. You see, he used to be Mr. Carney's chief. Yes, I know. So, Mr. Carney took him along, my little boy, too. Then you're alone? Yes. And you haven't heard from him since they left? Use eye signs. No, no, I like... haven't. Something's wrong. I know something's wrong. No, no, Mrs. Benson, nothing's wrong. We're, uh, we're just checking, that's all. But if you see or hear from them before I do, please have them check the detail down at the railroad station. It's very important. Thanks. Nothing's wrong, but it's critical. All right, lady. Inside. But I haven't finished watering my fake plants. You see, plastic starts to shrivel come up come if you on. don't water it constantly. 
I'm almost on a read. Very nice. Very nice job. Congratulations. You get to keep living. You don't like me, do you? <laughs> no. No, you're my favorite. <laughs> Animals kill each other to live. That's what you're But doing. your eyes, though, they're so How do you like your gray. Roasty? Medium rare, well done. All right, Bot, run them in. It's clear. I wish you were dead. You haven't got the guts. <laughs> Just give me a chance. There's your chance. What? Okay, We're really easy. No, pointed at him. Shoot him in the face. <laughs> you could save the president. Oh my God. What? That's right. Sploosh. Think of the president. That's first. what happened. Let's not think of ourselves. I didn't give you a whole chance. But you didn't even take a half a chance. A racket. Uh, you no, know, if you chamber around, that gives him a chance. Right. Everything okay, Johnny? Sure, everything's fine. She played her part real good. Should be a television. You. Didn't I tell you to fix the television set? You told me to set. Get your stuff and fix it. It'll keep you from getting patriotic. Don't do something, I'll blow my top just sitting here. Fix the set and shut your mouth. I don't like what you say anyway. Now fix it. We still got time. So I guess you don't want to hear about Ohm's Law? <laughs> We're all yours. Open them. How many rounds do you need, dude? Oh, 50 or 60. About 200 yards. That Baron, scope is that useless. It's the same as just looking out yeah. the window, apparently. You know what? I know it. Where I think it was closer just looking out the window. <laughs> All the way from what the is this, a track? minus one scope? I want a silver oh, you over. put it on backwards. <laughs> you get up into Germany? No. Bet you're one of those big shot guys, huh, with the gold bar on the shoulder. No, no, I was a corporal. How about you? Corporal? I made sergeant. You didn't like officers. Officers. Big shots. Yes, sir. No, sir. Salute, sir. <coughs> big shots. You don't like big shots. Not when you're bigger, Sheriff. I killed more juries than any five officers put 27 together. Twenty-seven of them to be exact. I, I got a silver pretty star. good chopping in the war. Pretty good. Like I said before, you're a born killer, that's all. Yeah. They taught me how, and I liked it. <laughs> My CO used to stand there and shake like a leaf while I chopped. If more guys like me had Tell command... me one thing, Baron. How come you missed Germany? They sent me home. My tour was finished. Your tour? Frankly, in I the love infantry? the schnitzel. Are you kidding? Why, you finish your tour in the infantry when they plant you in a box. Tour. That was for the Air Corps. Turn it off. Yeah, you probably went over the hill. I said turn it off. You know, Baron, you got the yard look. You look yard bird to me. I'm telling you, Sheriff, turn it off. Big shot with the yard birds, eh? Come on now, tell me. Where were you court martialed? What was it for? Rape? No, no, not rape. Killing, that's what you no, like. You're too Killing. Small. Maybe shooting down unarmed PWs, eh? Sit down and shut up. Uh, but, by golly, you got away with it, so. I got it. Section 8. You went out on a Section 8. Section 8. Psycho in charge of killing, huh? You know, I dressed I like a woman to like get out of it. Killing was sweet. Rather kill a man than love a girl. A real kick. The thrill with the guts. Stop it, Todd. Stop it. Or maybe you didn't like your CO. Maybe you shot him in the back. That it. Maybe you killed... Oh. Oh, right. My balls! <laughs> like I said, shut up. <laughs> Todd. Todd, darling, it's hopeless. Want to keep your trap shut? Yeah. Hurts, huh? It hurts. Well, I can keep kicking as long as you keep shooting your face off. I uh, know. Bob, you were right. You blew oh, the part to shut your face off. I have one here. Dad. I'll have a perkin in a second. You know, I was thinking, Judd, 
If you were to clamp the main plate lead to a good ground like that table there, we'd get a better picture. A lot of lines in it now. <laughs> clamp the main plate lead to the table. Cut the static lines. Expert. First he wrecks the set, and then he tells the kid how to fix it. Main plate lead? But if I do that, it'll make it electrified. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's There's right, nothing Joe. suspicious about that nod. We're a long way from the broadcasting station. What are you guys yapping about? Technical talk, mister. I'm no radio man. Battleship news. You don't know how to speak war. IT. Brad beat the German single-handed. Not exactly, son, but I was there at Scapa Flow when the German fleet surrendered. All right, all right, stop the bullets. Did they Let's replace the fuse already? Yes, sir. Oh! Dad! Oh. Dad, what is it? Pain, man. What hit him? It's his heart. He has a bad heart. Edge, my pals stop drawing the bureau. I'll get him. Stay put. The kid will get him. Oh, I put see. The, what put the out. fake gun in. Get the real gun out. supplement Pinch, put down that gun and get some water for your grandfather but mom listen you heard me Pinch. grandpa needs some oh, vitamin geez. b we're pulling you know what i think pop <laughs> i got a feeling your heart attacks are phony pain's bad i'm warning if you're trying to pull something you better watch it baron i've been thinking you've been thinking you'd like to take a crack at this right you think i want to get myself killed yes Frankly, Sheriff, I don't think you'd mind getting yourself killed. Nobody wants to die. Do we have to talk about it? Why don't you shut up? No guts. Nerves. That's all that gets on my nerves. Now, why would I want to get myself killed? Because it's five minutes to five, and a shot might bring those state troopers storming all over the joint before the president arrives. But, Sheriff, I can put you away in two seconds by twisting your arm again. That way is no noise. So don't go winning. Well, except for the fact that he'd be like, ah! I wouldn't enjoy I'm winning the post more than any more than you're going to enjoy that post more than money. What'd you say? What'd he say? I said nobody ever made it. And you won't either. You don't think so? So you got a plane. You'll never reach it ahead of the police. And if you do, you'll never make it to the border. You ever hear of the jet fighter? You know how many airstrips there are between here and the border? You know a fella could get an education just listening to this guy? But well, maybe he's right, Look, Jimmy. You said half the money had already been paid. A smart guy would hit the road right now. Fly out of here. Skip the president. Spend the money in South America. Alive. He's right, Johnny. Why take the risk? We can lamb now. We can make it. We don't have to fool with this thing. It's too big, Johnny. There's something wrong with it. Chicken. Chicken. All right, they'll call it chicken. Who wants to be chicken rich? Chicken McFly. Dead? Nobody no, calls me chicken. <laughs> Right, you've got the loot. Let's Thank take you. off and get out of here for good. Once we're across the Take border, those craps. Though Benny wasn't chicken, they didn't waste any time on him. I tell you, we haven't got a chance. Turn it off, Bart. You're embarrassing me in front of the sheriff. But Johnny, even if we swing it, he's the president. They'll never give up. And you don't figure that the guys who are paying off are just going to let you fly away, do you? They'll be after you just like the Secret Service. I thought of that too, sheriff. It might be an internationally embarrassing situation if the feds happen to catch up with us first. So, Bart, you just got to realize that everybody's going to be on your tail from 5 o'clock until the day you die. There's a hole in your argument, Sheriff. Well, what is it? Just like there's We're one in your arm. for murder, so you can only take the gas once. They'll get us, Johnny. They won't get us, Bart. Not us. You sure, Johnny? They're going to get you. Leave it to me. Us means both of us, as in me You're you. sick, man. You're sick. I don't like that. <laughs> don't play God just because you've got a Boo! <laughs> Boo what you said. But you see, Sheriff, that's the way it is. When you've got a gun, you are a soldier. Lazy gun. writing. If you had the gun, I'd be the chump and I you'd be the guy. I don't like what you said. The gun gives you the power of life and death. It's a funny sort of feeling to have control of life and death. You must have had it during the war. You could miss a man if you had a mind to, or you could kill him dead in his tracks. And that made you kind of God. And I liked it. 
Oh, he's got enough. a god complex. And I never had anything before I got one. First time I got one on my hands and killed a man, I got some self-respect. And an I erection. Was somebody. I never felt better than when like I was this killing kid people. Over here. If that cat pistol was a real gun and I didn't have a gun, he'd be a kind of a god too. There was one less pleat life, in my pants I'd on that day. I worship the ground he walks on, <laughs> and I'd pay him the half a million dollars for my life. Because life is all I had. But the squirt doesn't have the gun. I have. And I can loose the lightning. Suddenly all the lights dim. No noise, just pictures. Butterface. Going like this, they're gonna have that pennant two years in a row. Now we pause briefly for our station identity. You're wrong about God and the gun, Sheriff. Without the gun, you would never have spit at me. You would never have even noticed me. But because of the gun, you remember well, you me are kind as of long a small as you guy, live. So, I mean... Where is it now? Blowing for the 66 crossing, outside town. All right, nobody moves, this is it. You, over there. Johnny, let me see once. We're gonna do it, Bart, this is my meat. We're gonna do it. Just to see. My meat? <laughs> My pancreas. <laughs> Ow, my kidney. No. He still has a loaded gun pointed at him. <laughs> oh, maybe shoot him a couple more times no. just to be sure. Please. Here it goes. <clears throat> no. No. He was the only person with an automatic gun. Oh, don't worry about me, Mr. Wilson. I'll be all right. I don't need any noise made. Well, we're certainly grateful to you. How come the train went right through the station? We simply canceled the stopover. We couldn't take a chance on the president's safety once it was proven the assassins were in town. The president went on to Los Angeles. Mr. Suspicion, huh? <laughs> I'm afraid so. Someday those guys are going to stop taking <clears throat> you for amateurs, huh, Mr. Wilson? I hope not. Well, thanks again, Mr. Benson. I don't know. You too, young man. Well, that's all right. Someday I'm gonna be I a just bodyguard. shot at a guy, it's fine. Nonsense, boy, you're gonna grow up to be president, and presidents have bodyguards. And grandpops? And grandpops, especially grandpops. And they rarely get shot. Or hit in the head with a gun. Todd, I worry about him so. I suddenly love him. Not enough to go inside, but still. 
Well, I mean, <laughs> COVID. How's Judd? He didn't make it. He's dead. And Slim? Critical, but dead. They think he'll be all right. I guess somebody had to make the mistake. What? Something Dad said this morning about principles. Get in, Todd. I'll drive you home. Oh, thanks. I've got to go over to the office. A job's never done. Can I pick you up for church tomorrow? PTSD, it made me love you. Well. Sploosh! <laughs> Quit splooshing. Please, ma'am, the flowers only need so much water. across that, uh, that bench seat so easy. Could you tell me the way to Three Rivers? Uh, you get out of the first intersection, you turn left, it's about 60 miles. Thanks. What's this town? You'll be able to Suddenly. count them. There's three of them. Suddenly what? Now, that's the name. That's a funny name for a town. Oh, I don't know. Roger Stone drives off into the distance. <laughs> I don't know about that. Suddenly, the end. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that was certainly yeah. a movie. It wasn't it was. actually. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I felt that I was entertained throughout, and I hope everybody else was too. I mean, it was entertaining. Yeah, that's a good reason. Yeah. Yeah, but that was good. It was. I mean, yeah, it was a little painful, but it was good. <laughs> now, see, I'm gonna kill the president here, say. I mean, I, you know, Frank Sinatra didn't sing a single time. I'm a little disappointed he, in that, actually. I think if this had been done as a musical, uh, <laughs> you know, that would have been... Pato Led? Yes, exactly. Pato Led. That was great. Uh, and Pidge could have a couple of uh, solo pieces. Yeah. <laughs> or it was yeah. another situation now. that the dinner was uh, uh, an, in, you know, an imbalanced uh, taco to sausage ratio. Right. <laughs> it was, yeah, I mean, it was, um, you know, think about how bananas the scene was where it went from just being a terrible, terrible 50s movie to suddenly the house full of gangsters. Like, no explanation. No, like, suddenly. suddenly. like Suddenly, exactly. Yeah, Yeah. I, I, I don't know what I went into this movie expecting, but I did not expect that. I mean, it wasn't good. I think that's the key. Oh, no, like, no, um, it was absolutely not good. It was not good. Is this was this Sinatra's first movie? I think it was Anybody his own oh, movie. Oh no, no, it wasn't. Oh, he had, he'd had already won some Academy Awards for some other movies. I think this was I don't like think he won this was a this different one. this was a different kind of, of of character though for him. I think he was oh. kind of breaking that mold of being the one that everyone loves to the one that everyone. Yeah, hates. he was he was going for a different kind of different. He kind wanted of to make sure that he wasn't just a one note actor. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> he showed range here. <laughs> About 200 yards of range, but still. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it was even that, judging by the scope on that rifle. No. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, th I, thought, I thought it was pretty, pretty good compared to most of the movies that we watch. Well, um, I mean, that's, that's setting a completely different scale there. So. <clears throat> oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Terribly yeah. low bar. Uh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. I, I don't think there was much of a bar. Let's just say. Yeah. Except for the one that was here in my house as I was continuing to drink the... In fact, you know, I get, this movie just makes me... Oh, that's a bad, I, that's a bad idea. That no, right it's there. not. It's Tito's. It's great. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not like I'm you sitting here what, pounding you know what's wagon right now, guys. Oh, God, no! Well, I'm not the one drinking it. Go for it. Yeah, no, you totally should. <laughs> yeah. You won't. Hey, you won't. You won't. He won't do it. You he won't totally do won't it. do it. You won't do it. He's, he's going to pretend won't we won't see it. any bubbles in there. He's yeah, pretending you, you like he's absolutely, drinking. Yeah, he's, he's not actually drinking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Aaron, it worked. It ages so well. No, yeah. no, no. It just aged me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these grays were not in my beard. <clears throat> Chat, you may notice is not quite as elegant as it was last week. I know, it's way shorter. I have a longer beard than Kyle, which is super weird. 
Yeah. It, yeah. Nope. Said nobody ever. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. But yes, I I did. I decided to to reboot it. So. Yes, indeed. Yeah. But okay, so yeah, again, it wasn't as bad as a lot of the movies we've seen on this because I mean, it definitely wasn't Manos, and it definitely wasn't that abysmal train wreck of uh, a couple weeks ago. And I'm I'm really hoping though. I do have high hopes for next week's movie. I really really have high hopes for next week's movie whoa you changed positions i Wait, did i was I looking the wrong way so the I, I flipped <laughs> well i i i saw Guys? that for a i saw uh, that did, for a second too but it's back okay. it, it did leave for a second but it's back i don't know why that may have just hung up i think it's hung for me too <clears throat> um, I, I reloaded but everything's fine we good okay you're you're a little off to the uh the my right now yeah i see that Huh. But I'm not sure. No. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That way. I'm going to stay right here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you're fine. Um, they say we're not back. It's not back for me either. Well, it's it'll back be for back me. for them. It, there's a delay. Uh, they, and, well, and also, you may need, uh, folks, you may need to reload. <laughs> they can't hear you. If they... <laughs> yeah, if that's the case, yeah, that's true. They will hear us 17 seconds from now. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, let's see. Let's might have... <laughs> well, that's really sad. <laughs> well, uh, so that happened. Yeah, so next week back on Twitch. Uh-huh. Yep. I'd say or, for sure. And, uh... Or Jesse and this... James meets uh, Frankenstein's daughter. Oh, my God. That's going to be so much easier, I think, to riff on than, oh, like, yeah. these pseudo-good movies that we keep yeah. watching. <laughs> I've got a feeling that next week's movie is painfully aware of how terrible it is. And I need another Iga. <laughs> oh, my God, Iga. <laughs> oh, my God. Why are you that's so good. Of gravy? <laughs> so good. I've got a feeling that there's going to be somebody in next week's movie who has uh, pants full of gravy. I just I, I have this just feeling that that's going to be the case. So. I think it's going to be me. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, I don't go home to you, so I, I'm not exactly concerned about it. However, your poor wife. Oh, yeah, well. What are you saying about my wife's gravy pants? <laughs> Hell is wrong with you. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh man. Yeah. No, we did Ega. Um, we did do Ega. When, oh, my it's God. It's in season one like, box set, everyone. The box that like set, yeah. April? April or May? Uh, maybe? April I'd have to go when? back and check, but it was it was way back earlier this year. I know yeah. that a lot of time feels like it has passed this year, but it was uh, earlier in I think season one. I don't believe. Yeah, it. <laughs> yeah. It was it was a fun one actually. It was, really it was actually a lot of fun. I, I had a good time with that. Nineteen twenty yeah. and Swaggity Five. Oh yeah. man, it was. All right. So, so fun. Fin final thoughts, gentlemen. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm with Aaron on this one. I think, you know, these these pseudo bad movies uh, that are, you know, by today's standards, they're not good by any stretch, actually. No, uh, no but not even a little. They're not they're not just awful, awful. And so they're you know, they're more challenging uh, to react to, certainly. But uh, mm -hmm. we got lots of good feedback on chat. We had a lot of participation. Oh, chat chat hit nice. it out of the park. Chat always hits um, it out of the park for us. But, yeah, you know, it's tough. Sure. Like it's it's you know, I'm I am looking forward to the return to truly gut-wrenchingly bad film <laughs> yeah last yeah. week definitely wasn't bad i mean last week was a classic and i'm mm. honestly shocked it's, that last week was in public domain it's funny there's a weird happy medium like it can't be so bad like that wrestling movie mm. oh god it, it so has to bad. be like bad, but i don't yeah. even know how to describe it it's a right. weird like there's like a weird parabolic curve somewhere where it's like the perfect amount of bad to right. make fun of, but not so bad that there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> so, you gotta, you gotta strike that balance. For yeah, no, the it's, type of it's weird we do on this show. It's, it's totally weird, but just based on the name, I don't know anything about it. So somebody, somebody, it might have been Charles. Somebody was saying that this was part of like a, a a double feature, like it used to. It used to be featured with some other movie that was equally terrible. That really? had a similar name. Really? Um, it was and like a drive-in double chat trap and stuff. feature? If, whoever that was, if or if you know, put it in chat for us. Because, yeah, it was like this. It was like a 
Jesse James versus what is this Frankenstein's daughter? Uh, Jesse it was James like that. Frankenstein's yeah. daughter. I can't wait. Oh my god! It was like so, that, but apparently it used watched, to be part of a double feature. I watched about twenty minutes of that movie when I was trying to find a good copy of it for the show to watch, and oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, that one. You I'm guys want to get back to you guys want to get back to crap movies? Oh my god, what a treat do I have for you next week? <laughs> Thank you, Charles. Yeah, sorry, I, I, I you're 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 one of my primary sources of info. So, uh, but yeah, um, oh, if Spider um, Island, bad. Oh, uh, we don't have anything planned past this one, do we? Uh, no, we actually don't. Next week's movie is the last one we had pre-planned, and I plan on okay. circling back with you guys in the coming week to get right. our our next uh, our next month of movies out. I do. Uh, I would really like to do some kind of a. Uh, we probably won't be able to find much for Thanksgiving that's going to be on public domain, but I would like to do something uh, for Christmas because I, I there's got to be something. Pu- oh, yeah. It's in the public domain that we can do, and not just Santa versus the Martians. I mean, you guys already oh, did that. Oh my god, that, right? that so. movie was so <laughs> we bad. did, yeah. That movie yeah. was so bad. It was terrible. Uh, but um, it, there's got to be something else that is Christmas related that we could do as a Christmas special, and I would really like to do something for that. Uh, yeah. But uh, so more information for what's coming up after next week on our various social medias. We'll uh, we'll collaborate and we will come up with what our schedule is going to be for those coming weeks. Yeah, uh, yep. we'll we'll get back to you guys on that. And as always, thank you guys so much. All of your comments, uh, you guys, it, I can't say enough just how much you guys end up carrying the show for us. Yeah, so. thanks for being here. Thanks uh, for it, and thanks I mean, for sticking through an entire movie of that. You know, that's right. The, uh, it, exactly. It's. It I mean, means, we're not paid to do that, certainly, and they're not paid even less than we're not paid. So, <laughs> right. I mean, it's it's almost like they pay to do it, kind of thing. We appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. It, honestly, uh, um, movie bonfire doesn't exist without you guys being there each week for us uh not only bringing your jokes but just being there at all uh it, it makes it a lot of fun for us and i hope you guys enjoy it too and we just really appreciate sure. you guys showing up each and every week for it it uh it's just great thank you so much well, one other thing i want to add real quick before we sign off which is we have a old swaggity hat yes right we do that 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 we are planning to give away as a prize yes i don't know yet that prize. we know exactly what the contest will be but i think it should be uh twitch subscribers yeah yeah like just a random drawing of of active twitch subscribers yeah 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 okay we'll especially since this was a fun facebook experiment but we're gonna go back to twitch <laughs> yeah i think i think twitch is a little more stable for us and i just realized that josh's camera angle just really went crazy on us for some uh, reason I don't didn't... worry i can fix this I can fix this. I can fix this. I've touched. I did nothing. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. It was probably the so. Yeah, Twitch, Twitch, Twitch subscribers. I think is where it's at. We'll go back to Twitch. Although we are missing the gifts on um, on Twitch, which I kind of enjoyed that a little bit, and also yeah. being able to react to individual messages was kind of cool. Yeah, chat was chat was challenging this way. Chat. Um, and chat man, was just a bummer cool because way, think, you but... know we want to reach uh, bigger crowds, obviously. Right. Uh, and we, you know, the numbers on Facebook are, are huge. But uh, you know, it's not it's not quantity, it's quality, and we've got uh, we have a quality core of people. So, you know, bring five friends. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Well, and yep. one thing also keep in mind for the for the old swaggity hat drawing, uh, yeah, it will come from a pool of our subscribers. And just remember that if you have Twitch Prime, you guys can subscribe to our channel absolutely free, no additional cost to yourself. Yeah. So yep. you can hit that subscribe button and make sure you tell your friends about it. Everybody will be entered into that drawing, and uh, yeah, we look we look really forward to giving that and. Honestly, what I would like to do, if I can get my uh, my my colleagues here to uh, sign off on it with me, perhaps maybe it will not only be an old swaggity hat, but maybe an old swaggity hat signed by the three of us. Oh, oh that'd be fun. Yeah, we can make yeah. that happen. I, I'll drive sure. up there to get just to stand at your doorstep, pound on the door, sign this, and then leave. Just that's yeah. all I will do. I, I will make that. I will make that six-hour journey just to. Get you guys you, to sign a hat. I kind of, I kind of want that too. How are you getting here? <laughs> well, you see, I do have a vehicle, and it does run. <laughs> it's by train. I'm gonna get there by train. <laughs> it's I'll get there on the five o'clock. o'clock. Yeah. I'll be there on the five o'clock train. <laughs> it's a five o'clock express. <laughs> oh, we could, we could slosh out some old swaggity on the hat Ooh, just to give it the uh, authentic smell. Yes. Just, oh, it's so bad. I've got too. plenty. Plenty, I can throw plenty. up on it for you guys. <laughs> It'll be the exact same smell if he does that too. I mean, the exact oh same my smell. God. 
Yeah. All right. Let's 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 call it. Let's sign All off. Right. Yeah, if we're talking about the vomiting, it's probably a good time. Yeah, yeah. buddy. <laughs> Have a fantastic week. Thanks for joining Thanks us over here instead. Us. It was it was uh, it was fun to see everybody over here, but we'll be back well, on. How Sweet about the empty week. bottle Sunday after night? Kyle drinks it all? Do you want to kill me? <laughs> I mean, sometimes. Well, I mean, I, I, that's sometimes. that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I will give you that. All right, all right, guys. Bit, have an bit. amazing week. We will see you next Sunday. <laughs> back over on Twitch.tv slash Bmovie Bonfire for. Jesse James meets Frankenstein's daughter. Oh my god, I can't wait. That one's gonna be so good. <laughs> it's gonna so be so bad. Awesome. All right, guys, have an amazing week. We'll Bye, see you, you guys. Next time. Thanks for joining us. Take care. <laughs>